Hello and welcome to the Dynata training series. In this training video, we will cover the process of creating and modifying charts in market site. To make a chart in market site, you can either use the chart wizard on the chart page or you can first create a cross tab that will provide the underlying data for the chart and then you can create the chart. There are some charts that are not based on cross tabs. Word cloud and scatter plot charts are based on data views. In a data view, each column represents a variable or question, and each row contains the responses from each record in your data set. Thus, data views provide a way to look at respondent level data. First, we will take a look at the charts that are based on the cross tab. Let's go to the cross tab page and take a look at the cross tab we have already created for this data set. Let's open this one. To graphically represent a section of this cross tab with a chart, we click on the charting icon. We see the list of chart types on this menu. We can create a clustered column, start column, clustered bar, stack bar, and line chart. Note that not all chart types are always available. For example, a pie and donut chart can only be created for a single data series, which would be either a single column or a single row of data in the table. In addition, a got chart can only be created for a single data point that is where the table only contains one column value and one row value intersecting at a single data point. We will choose the column chart option and we will instantly create a column chart from this cross tab. The chart is displayed alongside the chart editor, which will enable us to customize this chart. Let's first take a look at the chart itself and we will cover the editor in next training video. For now, let's close the editor. The chart is given a name automatically based on the two variables that are being shown in the chart. The chart itself occupies the largest part of the screen. The legend is actually interactive. Clicking on any legend item will hide it or show it if it's been hidden. This chart also has three interactive controls enabling the viewer of the chart to select the variable and values that will be shown on the chart and chart sorting. The option on these three drop-down menus are sourced from the underlying cross tab we started from, which can be viewed by clicking here. Now, when you click on chart editor, you will see format data points option. In the dialog, adjust the labels as desired. If necessary, use the position column on the far right to anchor variable attributes like any, other, dk, none, etc. by positioning them at the top or bottom of the chart. In addition, flipping variable will swap the variable on the axis with the variable in the legend. You can also edit, save, print, and export this chart using these menu items. Let's save this chart before we move on. Once the chart is saved, it can now be shared with others. If we want to open this chart again, we can do that from the charts page here. Here's our chart. Click on the name to open it or use right click or the action bar to edit, share 
or export the chart or perform any of these actions. Now, let's take a look at scatter plot. This chart type is created from a data view instead of a cross chart because it is showing actual data points versus calculation. We will start by opening a data view that we have already created. This data view contains three column variables and also a filter set to show only a subset of our data to create a scatter plot. From this data, click on either of these charting icons here and market site will create the scatter plot. Market site automatically places these icons next to the two columns that will be included in a scatter plot. Market site selects the first two columns containing numeric data. It ignores the other column in the data view. It's ignoring this column because it's a text variable that can't be plotted on a chart. Let's create the scatter plot by using this chart icon. You can see that we have plotted the first numeric column variable on the horizontal axis and the next numeric variable on the vertical axis. To flip these, simply change the order of the columns in the underlying data view. By default, all the data points from the data view are shown on the scatter plot. However, you can change the range of each axis by dragging these handles further filtering the view of the scatter plot. Scatter plots can be printed, exported, shared, and saved just like any other chart. Once the scatter plot is saved, it can be accessed from the charts page with the other charts. Now, we will see how we can create charts directly from the charts page. The chart screens enables you to easily create, edit, access and export chart. Select the desired chart type from the left panel under new chart. Now, select the variable and click next. You can select any calculation here. Choose column percent for now and click next. In this window, you can apply any filter variable if necessary, otherwise click finish. Now, let's save this chart. Once the chart is saved, we can perform actions like edit, share, and export. Market site charts can be exported offline into three different formats PowerPoint, Excel, and Image. When you choose PowerPoint as an export type, it allows you to select a custom PowerPoint template and advanced data options. If you choose Excel as an export type, it creates an Excel file with a fully functional chart on the first worksheet and the raw chart data on the second. Finally, if you choose image, then it allows you to select the customized template and creates an image that can be viewed or opened with any Microsoft Office application. To know more about export and share, please see our related video. We hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.